it was said, I forgot how I received, but it was said that we receive something not to empower other people, but to empower ourselves. And that's, and I can only speak right now concerning the black church. And I've always said this, and I'm getting ready to close. I've always said that I understand, especially when it comes to the black man. I understand what has been taken from you, your dignity, your self-esteem, what was stripped of you as being the man, the father of your household and of your people. I understand that. I've come to understand that. And so I understand that the church has given the black man the platform to take back and regather the power and be empowered and walk in authority and walk in a position to well, to where I am somebody and I'm now not just nothing in the face of my black woman and my black children. I am in a position to where I appear as somebody. I understand that. But at the same token in that, you cannot misuse that power and that authority upon a people who we all are weak. This system has weakened all of us. This system has weakened the black woman as well. This system has weakened our black children as well. And so as you strive to be in a position to where you're taken back your kingship, being a father, being a husband, being in a position of leadership as you reestablish yourself in that. Remember that that does not mean that you devalue who it is that's in your corner. You got, you got black people that's up under you that at the same time as you are, as you are regathering who you are, at the same time you got the same sheep who's trying to regather who they are as well. So you have to examine whether you're ready Realizing where you at, but also realizing where everybody else is at that's up under you. At the same time that you're trying to gather who you are, can you at the same time nurture the same people who's trying to gather who they are as well? And so as you're trying to learn who you are, and you have been placed in a position of authority that you make lesser the same people who are in the same position as you are mentally, fighting the same fight. Fighting the same fight of the struggle within, of trying to be somebody of trying to not make it seem because somebody else has ruled over me that they're better than me. I'm fighting the same fight that I'm trying to be somebody like you. That I'm trying to strengthen my thoughts like you. I'm trying to be better every day like you as well. And so when I come and I sit under you, I expect because you have put yourself in a position that I should have the expectations that you nurture me, that you mold me. Yes, and if you cannot do such, you should be in that position. You have placed yourself 
in that position. Yes, because you've been hurt, I understand that. But you cannot hurt me. You cannot use your authority to hurt me because I'm fighting the same fight. That's why I'm here. That's why I take time out of my life. I'm speaking for the sheep. That's why I take time out of my life to come sit and hear. I take time out of my life where I can be somewhere that will strengthen me, that will help me regather my thoughts because I gotta go and fight the same fight in this world. I got to go and deal with the struggles. And this is where, this is where we're gonna have to see, are we fit? for this position because we're dealing with a broken people. We're dealing with a messed up people. And to whom much is given, much shall be required. I require much from you, pastor. This is the sheep. I require much from you, pastor. I require much from you, Bishop. I require much from you, Evangelist. I require much from you, Prophet. I require much from you. That's why I'm here. Where else can I go? If I can't go to the house of prayer, if I can't go to the sanctuary, where else am I going to go to find refuge and sanctity for my mind with what I'm dealing with in the world if I can't go to the house of prayer? If I can't go to the house of faith to be built up, where else am I going to go? Let us re-examine ourselves. We have people messing up people's minds, messing up their spirit, messing up their soul, throwing them off balance. Oh, yeah. May Yahweh keep you. May Yahweh bless you. May Yah's face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. This way, Yahweh said, this is how you are to place my name, which is my divine nature, upon the children of Israel, and I will bless them. May, oh, hallelujah and glory. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Purge me like hyssop, and make me whiter than snow. Create in me a clean heart. Renew once again the righteous spirit within me. Father, Yah, I pray that you receive this teaching unto your nostrils as a sweet smell of Savior. And it may bless your sheep and bless your people that we may have a better understanding, understanding of how to serve you in a more excellent way. That we come to learn of you by your divine nature and the totality of your very being, Father. To worship you in spirit and in truth that we all may become overcomers. That we all may be able to decree and declare victory in our life. That we all may have a chance to prosper and succeed. That we all may be able to reach higher heights and deeper depths in you, Father. Bless those up under the sound of my ear. Restore upon them that that is needed, that they need to continue their walk to strengthen them, to strengthen the mind, to bring the mind balanced, to bring the spirit and the soul back balanced, oh Heavenly Father. I thank you, I praise you, and I worship. Be blessed. If you'd like to sow a seed, you can do so. The information is in the title. Uh, my email's in the title. Uh, I'll be, uh,
for you Wednesday morning at 5 o'clock a.m. Listen, not expect anybody to be up there early. You got to be called to that time. I, right now, I'm doing it on Mondays and Wednesdays at 5 o'clock. You can just leave your prayer request, and I will pray um, over your name. The Father, the Spirit knows exactly uh, what you need. On Friday nights at 7 o'clock, 6.30, um, I'm on Periscope now. Periscope at 6.30. So be blessed. Shalom, and I love you. Shalom, shalom.